Hi, it's Kerry. Today I have sharks, whales, fish and other sea animals for my aquarium. The great white shark. White sharks bare their teeth and roll their eyes back into their heads when they attack, putting the shark's jaw and teeth into the best attack position and at the same time protects the shark's eyes from claws and barbs. White sharks are ambush predators. They prowl below the surface of the ocean, looking for prey above. Using its enormously powerful tail for a burst of speed, a white shark will shoot up and bite its prey while slamming it up and out of the ocean. Can you tell me how big the giant squid's eyes are? The blue spotted ray. It can grow up to 28 inches long including the blue striped tail which has one or two venomous spines. Its yellow eyes have an excellent field of vision. The holes above the eyes are spiracles for breathing. The snout is rounded and the mouth and gills are on the underside of the body. The mouth has two plates that can crush crab shells, prawns and mollusks. The starfish belongs to a large group of marine animals called echinoderms. Starfish are usually found in the shallow water of any world ocean. They are not related to fish. I like to call them sea stars. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like sea animals. The cow nose ray. They're related to sharks and skates. They have an excellent sense of smell and touch as well as electroreceptors on their snouts to help locate prey. They have been seen jumping clear out of the water and landing on their bellies with a loud smacking sound. I would really appreciate any help you can give in translating my videos. The flying fish can be seen jumping out of the ocean waters worldwide. Their streamlined torpedo shape helps them gather enough underwater speed to break the surface and their large wing-like pectoral fins get them airborne for a short time. The squid. Squids have a soft body. As a squid moves through the water, they stretch in the mantle area. This forces water through the funnel. They are very quick as well as agile in the water. When a squid feels that they are in danger, they release a dark ink cloud as they try to make their rapid escape. A squid has gills which it uses to breathe through. It doesn't need to surface for air. The Weedy Sea Dragon Males are responsible for childbearing. Male sea dragons have a spongy brood patch on the underside of the tail where the female deposits their bright pink eggs during mating. The eggs are fertilised during the transfer from the female to the male. The males incubate the eggs and carry them to term, releasing miniature sea dragons into the water after about four to six weeks. The leatherback turtle. Turtles are a reptile and have a hard protective bony shell. The shell is streamlined to help with swimming. The largest turtle is the leatherback sea turtle. It can weigh over 900 kilograms, which is 2,000 pounds. This is Bruce from Finding Nemo. He's a great white shark. He is the leader of the fish friendly shark support group. Bruce is a kind and pleasant shark. He is also known to be jolly, laid back and a bit of a jokester. However, his personality changes when his instincts start to kick in and this makes him turn into a mindless fish-eating shark temporarily. Fish are friends, not food, is one of his favourite sayings. The giant squid and the colossal squid have large eyes measuring 10 inches or 25 centimetres across. Their large eyes are used to help them see in the gloomy dark water where they live. They have eight arms and 
and two long feeding tentacles that help them bring food to their beak-like mouths. The tentacles have four rows of suction caps with hooks to help catch prey. They eat fish, shrimp and other squid. The crab. Crabs are also known as decapods because they have ten legs. The first pair of legs are modified into claws called chele. Crabs walk and swim sideways. They have a hard shell or carapace. Crabs have eyes on stalks, just like snails. And that was my diver Michelle then. The guitar fish or shark ray. The shark ray is also known as a mud skate and bow mouth guitar fish. It feeds on the seafloor and eats fish, crustaceans and mollusks. The shark ray has a wide and thick body with a rounded snout and a large shark-like dorsal and tail fin. Notice the wavy mouth line. It has bony ridges over its head and back. The blue shark is found worldwide. It is one of the fastest fish in the sea with a sleek tapered body that is made for fast swimming and quick turns. The tail fin moves from side to side propelling the shark along in the water. It will pursue its prey for long distances and can even leap out of the water. The blue shark's predators include California sea lions, short fin makos, white sharks and sometimes killer whales. The clown triggerfish has very strong jaws and broad teeth for crunching through hard shelled invertebrates like sea urchins and crustaceans. With its bright colours, it looks like it is wearing clown makeup. Triggerfish are named after their spines situated on their back. Few species are known to eat clown triggerfish. The queen triggerfish will uncover buried prey by blowing water out of its mouth towards the sand where the creature is buried. Its strong jaws and large strong teeth make it easy to bite through the hard body parts of marine creatures. The queen triggerfish is an amazing looking fish with its beautiful colouring and blue highlights on the face and fins and dark lines radiating from the eyes. The orca or killer whale Orcas will even attack other whales, including the enormous blue whale, which can measure over three times their size. They have also been known to breach the surface to grab sea lions and seals, even partially jumping onto ice floes to reach their target. They will hunt for other marine mammals such as dolphins and take turns chasing the dolphin. The dolphin eventually tires and they move in to take their prey. The octopus has a massive rounded head with large eyes and eight distinctive arms. When discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. They move forward by expelling water through their mantles. They are able to regrow a lost arm. They also have beak-like jaws that can deliver a nasty bite and some have venomous saliva. Next up is a battle between Megalodon and Mosasaurus. It's really good fun to watch. Let me know what you think. To receive all notifications from Super Fun Reviews, first of all subscribe and then click on the bell icon and click on the words turn on or on a PC, tick the box and save. Thank you.
Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media platforms that you like to visit. Thanks once again.